All right, welcome to my Season 9 Week 5 Challenge Guide. So I think there's only one challenge this week that requires a guide, and it's in three stages. And unfortunately, you have to do these in separate matches. So I'm going to show you how to do all three of these racetrack stages. So you should all know where the Gus racetrack is. It's right next to Paradise Palms. But did you know there's a starting point with some quad crashers that spawn? And that's what you have to do. Now, I think you can also ride on the back of one. This is my fifth attempt. This is a live solo match. And unfortunately, people keep grabbing weapons and killing everyone. So no more Mr. Nice Guy. I am not going to get bamboozled for a fifth time in a row. You're definitely better off doing this in a respawn mode so people don't grief you. All right. Let's see if it works from the back. Go, buddy. Go. I don't know if this guy's going to... If anyone tries to shoot, I'm going to kill him. All right, so you got to go under these underpasses. So this guy is doing well so far. And we have a gun. And again, the Gus Racetrack is right here. It's not too hard. You just have to hopefully not get shot by some Mickey Mouse Bull Squasher. I'm protecting this lady. I'm going to let her live. This guy's do. I wonder if it counts on the driftboard. I'm curious. Yeah, so this would be much easier in, uh, like, Team Rumble. So far, nobody's trying to shoot us. This is good. Hey, Bunger Jonesy. <laughs> I think he saw my shotgun and I was like, nope. I'm out of here. I hope this counts. This is testing. It should, because I'm on the back. This should be it. Let's see. Oh, there's a few more. This is a long racetrack. So as you can see, this is why Team Rumble would be better, because... It's quite long. It's making all his turns. Has this guy got a gun? I can't tell. Alright, we're coming around the home stretch here. And here we go. Will this count? I hope so. Yes, it did. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you guys want killed? Oh, okay. All right, they want they want taken out. Here we go. Pop, pop. <laughs> Thanks for the help, friends. All right, so stage two of three says complete a lap of a snowy racetrack. Now you should remember this from season eight because we had to do the exact same thing. You can see the racetrack down here near Happy Hamlet. Just to let's see, that would be to the left of Happy Him. Okay, so I just messed up. You have to wait until this countdown goes down. Otherwise, it doesn't count and the rings don't show up. So wait until it says go. Okay, now it counts. Now there should be rings. Yeah, there we go, okay. So that was my mistake the first time. I didn't let it do the countdown. And as you saw, you don't have to be right through these rings. I was way off to the left on that first one. And it's still counted. Just follow the yellow barricades. This is just like in Season 8. Exactly the same. Wow, that's crazy. There's no time limit. So take as long as you need. This is much quicker than the Quad Crasher one. And unfortunately, obviously, only one person can do this at a time. I mean, it's, like, it's not like the Quad Crasher, where someone can jump on your back. Hi, brother. And there's the fireworks. That's pretty easy. All right, now stage three of three says complete a lap of a Grasslands racetrack. Now this one, you're probably wondering where the heck is this at? But if you've ever been to Junk Junction, you'll know that there is a driftboard racetrack up here. I've never actually completed this racetrack, but if we zoom in here, you can see that the path, it starts right here and you gotta go zoom, 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 zoom. And then I don't know what you do here, unless you just take the road right there. We're gonna see. Like I said, I've never done this. I've been here, but I've never completed the track. All right, now you're probably going to want to grab a weapon for this one because obviously you're going to be quite exposed on a drift board. And someone could easily cold cock you. But luckily there's quite a few chest spawns in this little area. This guy's going to have a... Maybe we can have a race with this guy. I don't know if he's going to be friendly or... Oh, there's only one. All right, I'll let you go first. You know what? Let's see if the quad crasher works. So there was only one drift board that started here. 
So I'm going to hop on this, and we're going to see if this works. Let's see if it gives us the green light. Actually, okay, I see rings, so let's see if this works. Can you use the quad crasher? Oh, yeah, it works. Okay, so I've never done this course before. Let's see how this goes. Obviously, it would be much quicker on the drift board. Just follow the rings, and you should be good to go. This is good to know. But again, as you saw at the start, the green light was already there. If you're the first one there, you have to wait until it gives you the green light. Otherwise, the rings don't show up, and it doesn't count. This is pretty sweet. So for this one, you can use the drift board or the quad crasher. I guess a baller would work too, maybe. Ah, so it does go on the road here. Wait, is that it? Does that count? Yeah! Now, where did that one guy go? I don't know. Alright, so that's all three stages of the racing challenge. And I'm not sure if I marked this on the map, but let me just show you. I think I did. Yeah, it's right here. Next to Junk Junction. That's stage three of three.